Perfect. So, um, so you guys know it's re recorded. So um, you you are um, together with that. Oh, you're giving up, giving us a cheers. You're, you're doing a yes. toast, Camille. Let's do it. I'm toast. giving water. Yes, water. Yeah. Mm. Hey, Vicky. Yes. <laughs> Good Gotta to see you. Gotta be like my girl Rahima over here with fancy yes. with my water. Absolutely. Favorite. Do you do you have anything special in your water today, or is it just plain water, Camille? I do, because last week I talked to you guys about hemp water, mm -hmm. and it's like the only water that I found with the natural flavoring that doesn't have all the crazy stuff in it. So this is like pineapple infused water, and then I put some fresh Meyer lemon in there, Ooh. so I could get fancy. I have Meyer lemon too, so I I got a. I, I want to be like you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have a neighbor who has a tree in his yard, and it's mm -hmm. Meyer lemon, and he says I can pick them anytime I want. And oh. actually, the rest of the neighborhoods found out about it, so it's a it's a um it's a gamble now. It's like trying to get out there, get the lemons before everybody else does. But I got one mm -hmm. this morning, and I was like, yes, I got a lemon. Um, yeah, so. If, what are what are you drinking, everybody? While we're waiting for people to log in, hi, Monique. Um, um, you, um, stick in the chat, um, or if you're able to unmute yourself, I'll be uh, um, make, uh, allowing people to unmute. Ooh, Valerie's um, having water. Yeah. Shaquem's having water with lemon. Yes. Uh -huh, hi, uh -huh. Phoebe. Yeah. Folks are out here staying hydrated. Yeah, yeah, got to. We got to. It's important. Being hydrated is, especially when it's as hot as it is right now, is um, is of the utmost importance. Ooh, Penny, we want to keep. Penny's having some unsweetened green tea, oh, so she's ready for like really the good. peaceful vibes. Mm hmm. Absolutely. Oh, George is drinking some water with lemon. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, peace mm -hmm. is having peace is having plain water from from Berkeley. Oh, okay. yes! Right. Water from Berkeley. All Great right, peace. all right. Okay, yes, yes. So this is awesome, awesome. And we're still having people arriving. Amazing. So I'm going to get started. We, you know, we've um, hi, hi, Afua. I, you're. I, I believe I'm seeing you for the first time here. Welcome to our last Healthy Living 102 class. To, um, to let you guys know, um, um, even though we're coming to the end of Healthy Living 102, because it is basically the end of our fiscal year, and we and so programming ends in June. What happens in J um, July? The new pro the new fiscal year starts, and we have new programming, and so we will be having. Um, what we call our um, our shop smart eat healthy workshops which will be starting we will be having a lot of other wonderful things happening and just so you know we're going to be having a really informative um health forum <coughs> next week that talks about um places that your kids can play and you can play since we're coming out of covid we need to be safe and it's it will be good to have some really amazing programs and so we'll be talking about that a little bit later so but let's get started and let me go and front load my little my little um, introduction as usual thank you for joining healthy black families thirsty for change um uh healthy living 102 workshops Healthy Black Families mission is to educate, engage, and advocate for the holistic growth and development of diverse Black individuals and families. Our vision is a society that is fair, equitable, and just, particularly in relation to Black individuals and families. Health equity is achieved when we no longer see health disparities based on race. Thirsty for Change is a program of Healthy Black Families and is funded by the City of Berkeley's Public Health Division. Healthy Birth Berkeley program, formerly known as the Sugar Sweetened Beverage Program. The purpose of Healthy Berkeley is to provide the public with additional information about city's distribution and funding allocations. 
to support the community, including the faith community, and support school-based strategies for reducing consumption of sugar-sweetened beverages and raise awareness about sugary beverages' harmful impact on children, youth, and adults in Berkeley and every place else. Educate um, and educate about how sugar-sweetened beverages um, contribute to type 2 diabetes, weight fluctuations, and heart, dis heart disease and tooth decay. Now is the time to get your phones and share and, and let people know if there's somebody that you think would, would benefit from today's program, let them know. They can still join um, and have them come and join us. Um, today, we're going to be dealing with um, meditation and and mindfulness and that's something that is going to be really interesting today so we're gonna we're gonna delve into that um but first i am we're going to hand the um the the situation and the workshop over to camille who Hi. will be um, going over a really wonderful um, tofu scramble recipe as we're do doing a brunch before meditation and um, a lovely smoothie. So let's take it over, Camille. All right, guys, let's do this. So, yummy, yum, yum. First of all, we are going to have ourselves a peach banana mango smoothie the ingredients are just like it says and you can either add some organic milk or almond milk now here's the thing about the peaches and the bananas and the mangoes so i checked out a couple of the farmers markets and also our pop-up markets and they were all ingredients that i found there they're so delicious they're so happy and summer vibe so we're gonna get it on with that. And we're going to have ourselves a beautiful meditation brunch since we're about to open up soon. Like we're gonna really get into this. It's so great that we can all just like really enjoy ourselves and have ourselves some deep meditation and a brunch together. And maybe you guys can do this with your family too. It's so cool. I love it. I love the idea. I love being fancy. So since we're doing meditation, I'm gonna get started with my sound bowl here. And I'm just gonna get into a nice little meditative vibe. La, while I get into the smoothie action. So here's the thing about the smoothies. When I have my fruit, I love to just pop it in the freezer like this. And then you have like everything you need. So this is some peaches and mangoes here. And then I take those, those ripe bananas because they're super sweet without adding any sugar. And I just pop them in the freezer. It's really great. It's super healthy. And then you can get yourself a nice smoothie pretty quickly. So I told you guys before about our $10 items. Here's one of them, the one cup smoothie maker. We've got some peaches. We've got some mangoes. And we've got some bananas. And I put a little bit of coconut in there. I'm just going to pour some milk in there as well. Do, 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 do. All righty then. And then I'm making this with regular milk, but you can also use soy milk. I'm using regular milk because I'm celebrating my wonderful, beautiful sister who I love so much. I'm really lucky because I get to have a sister that's also my best friend. And she's not too much big on almond milk. So I'm going to make her a nice smoothie because she loves smoothies. And she's been doing a great job. She's been drinking more water. She's laid off the sugar. So like, I'm totally supporting her mission with that. So I like to shake it up, shake, shake, a shake, shake it up. And then you just put it in there. And bam, about to blend it up real nice. I'm going to have some water while I'm blending. Mm -hmm. Drink that water. Yes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh my goodness. I love water. I really, really do. All right. Who loves peaches and who loves mangoes? 
who loves bananas. What do you guys like to throw up in your smoothies? Let me know. Like, seriously, like, throw it in the chat. Let me know. What do you like to put in your smoothies? I actually I don't know. like bananas. I mean, excuse me. I like peanut butter. Really? Peanut butter and smoothies. I actually do a peanut butter and jelly smoothie by putting uh, um, uh, peanut butter and fresh berries or like frozen blueberries and, um, you know, almond milk and banana as the sweet. And it is so good. It is so good. I, it tastes like peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yeah, you know what is so funny? I like to put peanut butter in my smoothie and then I add that turmeric blend and it kind of reminds me of those like little peanut candies but of course no sugar and it's super good but since this is for my sissy poo and you see here I love this thing because you just like throw in the little top and bam it's ready to go I'm gonna get this okay. later and so, so Penny likes peaches and strawberries in her smoothies oh yeah Oh my God. And Vicky, Vicky likes peanut butter, berries, honey, banana, and milk. That is my jam. That's what I, I didn't, I, I try not to put honey or something in it, but if it's not as sweet as I like it, sometimes I put a little honey, just a little. Just a little, just a little bit, just, just a little, little bit. bit. Not just too a little much, bit. But yeah. Just a little bit. We drink it all water, we're doing good. So. <laughs> yeah, the honey will change like the it. flavor. Or you can like add a little tiny bit of, sometimes I put a little bit of cranberry juice and it gives that, bit, that uh, what you call it, the berries a little bit more pop. So it takes, it takes the peanut butter and the berries like more. That's my secret. Put a little tiny Yay. bit of cranberry juice in there. Ooh, and Erin likes, likes pineapple. Oops, it disappeared. Hey, Erin. Oh, yes, but it's cool. Talk about it. Erin, what do you like? You like pineapple? She's super sweet. So I know she likes hers like delicious and fresh but super sweet with the fruits so mm -hmm. let's get into this we're about to have our brunch we now have our peach mango banana smoothie but whatever you got from the pop-up markets whatever you got from the farmer's market throw that bad boy in the freezer and blend it on up because we're gonna get that too now we are making some italian tofu scramble it is so delicious and it has in it some canola or grapeseed oil, five cloves of garlic, some firm tofu that's drained, a half a teaspoon of turmeric, a tablespoon of oregano. We're going to use fresh oregano because we're fancy. Half a teaspoon of sea salt, a teaspoon of tamari. We're going to use liquid aminos because I feel like it and uh, a zucchini chopped four ounces of chopped mushrooms, a quarter cup of olives, two cups of spinach, a quarter cup of fresh basil, and we're going to use a tablespoon of thyme. Now here's the deal. We're making brunch. So like, I really want to get into this. So I decided that since there's so many avocados and so many tomatoes in those pop-up markets, we're also mm. going to have ourselves some guacamole and some salsa to go with. Oh, that sounds amazing. Scramble. So let's get into this. All right, let's do it. Now, first, let me just kind of take you guys through this and then I'm gonna go ahead and get on started. So we're chopping it up. We are chopping up some mushrooms and we are chopping up some zucchinis and we are chopping up all of our ingredients, our fresh ingredients. You really want to like, uh, just enjoy yourself while you're doing it. Like, let's get into this. We got our fresh herbs because we're fancy like that. We're going to chop those up. And we got all of our lovely fresh ingredients. We got some spinach. We got some mushrooms. And right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get started with that first, first vibe. So I'm going to just pour some of this oil, grapeseed oil in the pan. I'm gonna throw up in some garlic because my mom said, do not trust a cook that doesn't have garlic. And I'm gonna listen to my mom. I don't know if you guys listen to your moms, but I listen to my mama. She said, you better have some garlic. So I'm not trying to leave home without it. Now we have um, also these beautiful seasonings that are so great. Let's get into it. 
because we want to keep it spicy, because that's how we are, loveys. So we've got some turmeric. We've got a little bit of nutritional yeast. I told you guys about that last time. It's a superfood, has lots of vitamin Bs. And it also, it gives it a cheesy flavor. I wanted to add a little bit of that. And then I decided to add a little bit of salt-free spike, but you can add any type of seasoning that you want that's salt-free. I really try not to use too much salt because my best friend doesn't really deal with the salt like that. So I'm trying to like keep it where, you know what I'm saying? This is a beautiful brunch where we're about to get down with it. So we're getting down with it. We're going to season up that grill, that pan with the um, garlic because when you put the garlic in with the oil, it flavors the oil. And we are all about flavor. We want to put that flavor in everything. So once we get that all heated up there, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some of these beautiful zucchini mm, yum 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 guess what was at the pop up market zucchini and guess what we're about to put in there some zucchini better get on out to that pop up market it's tomorrow and you know you can get yourself some nice fresh produce and it's free and you can add that to your other groceries because we're about saving money we have our families we need to drink our water we need to save our money for the activities that we're going to be doing so this is sizzling. It's smelling good. Ooh, it is. It is delicious. Now it's popping and it's ready. We got our tofu. We're going to use some organic tofu. And what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of crumble that tofu in. But first, I'm going to go ahead and throw in the zucchini. Ooh, ooh, zucchini. Hey, baby, how you doing? I like to talk to my food because, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Hey, hey, we, we, we in a relationship over here. So I'm throwing in that zucchini. I'm going to go ahead and toss in a little bit of the seasoning because we got to make it delish. Just a little, not too much. Just, just enough to kind of like get that going a little bit. I'm going to throw in these mushrooms. But I'm going to go ahead and keep some of this because some of my family doesn't like tofu. They want eggs. You can use the same recipe, use egg whites or eggs in it. So this is a brunch for, you know, my loved ones. So I'm going to make it both ways. I'm going to throw in these fresh, delicious herbs. Guess what was at the pop-up? Basil. Guess what I'm about to put in this? Basil. Guess what was at the pop-up? Parsley. Guess what I'm about to put in this? Parsley. Guess what was at the farmer's market? Fresh oregano. And it was super cheap. Under a dollar, guess what I'm about to put in this? Uh -huh. Yes, we're about to get into this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so um, um, Andre wants to know where the pop-up market is. All right, Can you, do you have that um, information at all to maybe pull up, Rima? Okay, I know Aaron's here. Aaron, do you have that information? I don't have that information. So do you have that information, Aaron? You can, you can, Pop that if you throw that up in the chat. Yeah, throw it up in the chat. Baby, can you do that for me? So we'll have that in a minute, hopefully. <clears throat> yes, in the meantime, let's get into this. Woohoo! Bay. Now here's the thing. I love some vegetables, especially some fresh vegetables. So I already would want to eat this just like this. Like it oh, is that's beautiful. Good. Look at it's those delicious. colors. Mm -hmm. You see that? You got your turmeric. You got some seasoning. You got your parsley. You got your basil. You got your fresh oregano. Oh, and you got some mushrooms. I got some mushrooms from Berkeley Bowl. They were on sale for, for uh, 59 cents a pound. So I said, uh -huh, yeah, that's my price. I'm going to get some of them. So I got that in there, just kind of stirring it around, getting it all nice and tasty. It smells so good. You know why? Because when you love your body and you're loving yourself, you're going to give yourself some delicious fresh ingredients. And when you do that, 
oh my goodness, your body's going to love you back. Here's a pipe that's fun. And you can get your children to do this. Just go on and scrinkle, scrinkle. Now, I have already washed my hands, so don't worry. I wash my hands like over and over and over again. So we're just going to go ahead and crumble that on in there. Crumble it, crumble it, crumble it, crumble it. Oh yeah, we're getting crumble it, crumble it, crumble it. Mm -mm -mm. It mm. smells so good. We're getting crumbly. Yeah. We're getting crumble it, we're getting crumble it. Yeah, for folks that don't like to stick their fingers in food, I like to, um, like me, I like to, like, I'll just put it down on a plate and I'll take a fork and you can just like, just crush it up yeah, with a fork and you can do the same thing. But, you sure. know. But you know, like, you're... honestly, I got, I, mm -hmm. I, I'm from a Creole family and we mm -hmm. got special spices in our fingers. So I'm gonna need to put my fingers in it and uh, yeah. That's how I'm about to do this. Okay. Because, um, you know, hey, my fingers got some special spices. If you are any of my friends, you know that you try to make my dishes, it don't come out right because you ain't got my fingers. So sorry about that. <laughs> I love you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wish you had my fingers. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I just don't like the squishy stuff on there. But I know, but I'm totally cool with folks cooking. You know, as long as you wash your hands and you wash your hands, then it's all good. Yes, I wash my hands several times. And I yes. also... We'll, um, you know, wash them again. And of course, you can just crumble this up with a fork and it'll be just the same. But, you know what I'm saying? My fingers got some special little magic in them. So I'm about to And you to got your love food. there too. Yeah, I do. So I got my love. It's going on. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more of this nutritional yeast. Woohoo. Mm, that looks add gorgeous. A little bit of that turmeric, and guess what? Didn't we talk about turmeric before? What were you saying before about turmeric, Rahima? It was something like delicious uh, that it was so good for us, or something. Oh gosh, um, uh, yeah, turmeric is considered a superfood. Um, mm -hmm. It's actually um, it's anti-inflammatory. It's very oh. highly anti-inflammatory in your body. So you know, some folks use it for um, for if they have arthritis or other inflammation like that, you can um, take it. Um, I actually have a friend who has a dog, if you, you know, because sometimes people think, oh, well, it's just a, a, a placebo, but they actually make it and feed it to their dog who has arthritis and it actually helps. And so that should just tell you, it takes the mind out of it, right? So you know oh, that yeah. it's something that is just really helpful for the body. And it doesn't mm -hmm. matter what kind of body, it can be a human body, it could be an animal's. Um, yeah, no, another kind of animals. Oh, so Aaron put in um, the address for the pop-up and it's at 76 oh, to 72 MacArthur, first and second Fridays. Um, at, um, uh, um, Who's trying to meet me at the pop-up? Yeah, 105th and AIDS Avenue um, on the second and fourth Thursday. So you can go to a pop-up every day, I mean, every week you know, um, at different locations and get more fruits and vegetables. So you can have fresh fruits and vegetables every week. Yes, you can. And it's so delicious. They're so <laughs> sweet. Um, it's COVID guidelines. So you don't have to worry. You have your mask. Nobody's crowding. You'll get yourself a lovely, a lovely bag of vegetables. But they also have some really cool things like sanitizer, like coloring books for the children, like cleaning products. So honestly, okay. let's let's cut that down. All right. Yeah. So we're gonna chip chop some tomatoes, some um some jalapenos that we got from the pop up, some onions. We're gonna throw that sucker into our chippity chopper. Yes. Okay. The chippy chopper is a chopper, but we love it, so we can just call it a chippy chop. We go ahead and chippy chop that, make us ourselves the salsa. And then since we're equal opportunities, we're going to use the hand chippy chopper for some guacamole. Hey, put your avocados in there from the pop-up, mix that together. And then we are going to add a little bit of our salsa to it. Oh yeah, baby. Now we got ourselves some guacamole and we got ourselves some salsa and we got ourselves some delicious 
peach smoothie. So we are ready to do this. We're ready to go. We're ready to get it popping. And we're ready to plate it up. So we're having meditation and we're having brunch. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this delicious tofu scramble that has some olives, ooh, and some vegetables. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> I wanna eat this. Guess who didn't eat and waited because I wanted to have some of this deliciousness. <laughs> I bet you can guess that it was me. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate this up for you. And it's Italian, but we're gonna go on ahead and get international and add some other ethnicities because we can do that. So we're gonna put some salsa. Ooh! And I was thinking, what do you use all these jalapenos? Cause they gave you a lot of jalapenos at the pop-up and I don't like wasting food. So I said, okay, I'm about to, um, I'm about to add some of that and you know, make it, make it do what you do. Mm. Love these. Love these. Let me tell you, we are getting it on. <laughs> we got this brunch. Now look at that. Tell me you aren't ready to come over and have some meditation and have some brunch. <laughs> We're into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Yes. Who wants some? Oh, it looks delicious. Who That's wants some? That is so delicious. And it has so many, so much veggies in it. It has mm -hmm. so many veggies in it and it has protein. So you can definitely get um, your, get your veggies in there. You can add a little salad on the side or whatever Yay. brunchy things that you want to have Yay. with it. And, and it's like, and it's all, it's, it's, it's fantastic. You're getting a lot there. Look at that Yay. water. Look at all that fruit and watermelon and everything you Ooh, have. You know I don't play? Okay. You think I'm just, Game? <laughs> no, it is not. My watermelon. I got my fruits. I got my veggies. I already made some um delicious kale and green salad. So I'm gonna add that to this. And yeah, we're good to go. We got okay. brunch. Help this All well. right, Bye, Fua. Let's Fua do it. You gotta go. I love you. All Let's right. Finish. It's time for us to do some meditation now. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I'll miss that, but. Good, good. All right, it's all good. It's all good. Love it's like we'll we'll uh, we'll 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 have some more fun at a different time. Yes. This yes. is this is something that um that it is is great. It's like it's always oh, it's wonderful to have um it's it's wonderful to have. Let's we'll see what happened here. It's like there's a it's a shared thing here. Oh. It's wonderful to have Camille on. The program, it's it's a um, we've only had you for a short period of time, but we already feel like we're you're like we're you're at home and yeah, we're getting things done. So that's that's really good. And now it's 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 time to like to get into some um, you know we got the nutrition side. Now we're going to talk about the health and the health portion of it and meditation. Um, a few times this year, we've we've discussed different ways to deal with stress and and um all of the things that are going on as far as uh like um what's going on in the world and how to deal with it when in it within our bodies and within ourselves but the thing with meditation is it's not just something that we need to use as uh as a medicine against things like that. You can also use it to just make your life better, to, to heal yourself, to, um, to set a good positive um, tone for the day. So I'm going to go into, just let's see here, and I remove that. We're going to go in and we're going to actually look at our Um, our, our um, slideshow for the day. And what we're going to be doing in the middle of that, we're going to be actually doing some meditations um, specifically. Well, we'll get into that in a minute, but this is an introduction to, um, to meditation. All righty. I don't know what's going on here. 
All right. There are a lot of different types of meditation. These are just a few different types of meditation. We have mindfulness meditation. We have visualization, sound healing, which we're not going to talk about as much here, but you know, that, um, the, the, uh, the bowl that Camille just had was a singing bowl. And that a lot of times can be used for sound healing. We'll talk, you know, we can talk about that at a different time. If I knew she was, she had that, I would have, um, in, incorporated that. Oh, guided meditation, mantra meditation and movement meditation. And they're all things that when they're practiced on a regular basis can help, um, uh, help to improve your health and mitigate, meaning um, um, keep um, adverse effects um, from happening in your body, okay? So mindfulness meditation is a training practice that teaches you how to slow down your racing thoughts, let go of negativity, calm down your mind and body, and mindful um, mindfulness techniques vary, but the general idea it, um, involves uh, breathing practice and being aware of your body. So what I want to do, uh, let, let's uh, take a moment and let's talk a little bit more about the dynamics of that, because it's like, okay, what does that mean? It, um, it can talks about mindfulness and um, being aware of your body and aware of your mind. So what that means is, is, you know, what we do with our day a lot of times is we're going along and we're doing things, but we're not actually thinking about how it's affecting our body in the moment. So for example, if you're driving, you're driving and you stop for a minute and think, hmm, are my shoulders tight? Is my back, you know, is my back straight? That's being mindful. Just knowing where your body is in orientation to what you're doing. So like right now, think about this right now while we're, while you're, um, you're watching this, think about what you're doing right now. Are you lying down while you're, Looking at this a workshop, are you in your car, um, sitting and relaxing? Are you at a desk? Are you looking at it on your phone, hunched over? And as you figure out like, like where you are, how does your body feel while you're doing that, right? Like, is my neck tense? Does my lower back feel any pain? Do I feel comfortable anywhere? Do I have an itch? on my elbow, you know, and even, you know, we'll even go um, a little bit deeper into it, but that's what being mindful of what's going on in your body. Now, in your mind, when, when you're talking about mindful meditation in your mind, um, what you're doing is actually paying attention to what your brain is doing. Um, like in this instance, doing this, um, this uh, PowerPoint here, um, is your mind wandering? Do you keep getting, getting distracted by the children who are in the room or by um, something in your head that you have to do later on today? Oh, I have to remember to take that chicken out of the refrigerator or I'm gonna be too frozen for dinner. Like what's going on and actually not just letting it put those things play through your mind, but actually noting them as like, I'm thinking about chicken right now. I'm thinking about my child who is playing with blocks on the floor and making sure they're okay, you know, or whatever. Or I'm thinking about, you know, that, you know, that thing that's been, bothering me all day or all week or something like that that's what being mindful is and what that does is it um instead of your body and your mind running you you end up running your body and your mind because if you find yourself doing something unhealthy like um thinking over and over again about something that makes you upset 
and then you realize that your body is tensing and things like that, then you can say, oh, I'm thinking about, you know, that argument I had the other day with so-and-so. And because of that, I'm balling my fists and my back is all tight. And then you can relax that. And that's being mindful. And then you can turn that into a meditative practice. Okay? Visualization meditation is really cool. I love it. It actually combines the practice of meditation, like mindfulness meditation techniques, with visualization. And um, what we're um, going to do a visualization meditation in a little bit. And it's going to mix a couple of different aspects of what we've been that we're, what we'll be talking about today. But um, basically, what um, what visualization means is you're actually closing down your eyes, you're going deep in your body, and you're visualizing something. It may be something as simple as, um, it may be something as simple as, uh, you know, thinking about a goal that you have for later, or it may be something as simple as, you know, um, I'm tired of being here in this hot house. I'd rather be in the park. I can't leave right now, but maybe you close your eyes and you go to the park in your mind, you know, that kind of thing. That's a very simple idea of what a visual meditation is. And then if you combine that with, you know, thinking about your, um, your body and your mind, like you're thinking about the park, but does your mind keep going someplace else like that argument or like um, I need to go grocery shopping or whatever? And it keeps going someplace else, pulling your mind back to that visualization and um, first noting it, don't beat yourself up and then bring yourself back. And that's, some, and that's what a visualization is on a um, very basic level. And, you know, that's it. It's like, this is the kind of thing that it's really simple. Once you realize what meditation is, if you haven't done it before, it may seem like um, a strange practice, but it's just that easy. It's just something so simple, so um, basic, that is actually very helpful. Okay, guided meditation. And that's another other component of what we're gonna do in a few minutes is we're going to do um, a mindfulness meditation that I'm going to guide you through. And it's going to have some um, visualizations in it. And so guided meditation is a meditation where somebody else is basically the driver and you're, you're riding alone. It's a process where participants meditate in response to guidance provided by a practitioner, trainer, or teacher, or just a person who is, um, who, who want, is, is sharing it with you, um, either in person or via any other any other um, means. It could be something that's written. It could be a sound recording. It can be a video, um, audio, visual, medium. Um, uh, I've done discussions on meditation before, and I had a bunch of resources. I have those still available for you. And what those um, resources are is like a bunch of, of YouTube videos and stuff for children and adults to get you started with meditation because children can meditate. Okay. So, and the last meditation here is a mantra meditation. Now, um, meditation with mantras, a lot of times when people think of mantras, they think of like a Tibetan person or like a Sufi Muslim person or even like, like, a, like a Christian, like a, like a priest or, or somebody like that because a lot of different faiths do meditation in different ways. And sometimes, when people are meditating, it also can be called prayer because you're basically like you're visualizing and you are focusing on your higher power, right? 
and you were in, in you're speaking to your higher power in a way that brings um, brings peace into you, and that can be with Jesus Christ. It can be with um, you know Allah. It can be with a lot of different things, but the, the but the the main thing is is it has to be something that you are comfortable with, and it has to be something that you um that that because it being comfortable is the other part of meditation being uh meditating means putting your body in a state where it's 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 ready for healing the way you do when you pray right okay so a mantra meditation um is um, quieting is focusing the mind and you're usually using a sound a word a phrase um recited loudly or silently and um like i said before that can be a prayer it could be anything from you know from our lord's prayer to um if you're muslim allah wakba or whatever you know um or like there was this um this this uh, 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 mantra this sister put together um, that I'm not gonna uh, uh, it, well it was like it was basically she's like I am a, a, a badass I am I, I you know we can, you know it could be whatever you need to to complete the person that you are like. Um, if you're somebody who is timid or somebody who is like quick to anger, you can actually use words that like, I, I, am, I am calm. I let words wash over me. People can't, you know, like things that help you to get where you need to go. Those can also be mantras. A lot of times what people use for mantras can be as simple as the word or the sound om. And uh, the reason why people, uh, and it's really old um, uh, practice to use um, the sound om for meditation is because it, per it causes your whole head to vibrate. Om. You can feel it in your text, your your temples, and in your mouth, and everything. And because then you can actually like um, focus on what you're. You can focus on that feeling as well as the sound itself. And a lot of times when they're doing that, they, you know, um, stuff can melt away. All right. Let's see here. So I thought there's somebody that looks like there's a thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Penny is saying that there's a lot of meditation apps and podcasts offered for free for guided meditations. Yes, absolutely. And I would actually like to say that there is a lot of also um, things that are out there that are for pay. Like I know that Headspace, it's like, oh, I started that. I'm like, let me look at that and see what that's about. And you get a couple of free meditations. And after that, they, they tell you that you that you, that you should pay. And my idea about that is you don't have to pay <laughs> to do this. It's not something you can see how simple this is. And we'll be going, we'll be doing one in a moment. You don't need to pay for it. You don't need to pay for it. And there is a, um, I will, um, get, there are some resource, some other resources. Um, there's a, um, a, a meditation place um, that used to be downtown Oakland for um for meditation there's a there's there can be there can be actually quite a few places that you can go for free in person to meditate i'm not exactly sure what what's happened to it since covid i haven't been able to get in touch with them but um if they're if they're closed down everything's opening back up soon so this is some things that you can think about okay let's see what's the next one this is a great one especially for us that are um, that are restless or for people who really just need more um, more movement in your in your life meditating while movement is a focus focuses on your the movement of your body rather than a goal of the movement 
Um, for instance, picking up a book is normally re registers in your mind, but if you're being mindful of, of the process, then it would be different. Um, so you would be like, I'm bending my legs, I'm um, extending my arm, I'm reaching for the book, my hands are going around the book, I'm picking the book up, like that. It would be the difference. And that's that's a, um, a movement meditation. And um, like this young lady's doing in the photo here that I chose, it's like it can also deal with your exercise while you're while you're running, while you're walking, while you're stretching or doing um, your weightlifting or whatever you're doing to do your physical activity, actually paying very close attention to what your movement is how you're making that movement and how it feels in your body and you're doing movement meditation and that all of these things help reset your body in many different ways in order to um, increase your health and one of those th ways that's really important um, before i get into the the um um the um how what this helps is uh the con the, the uh focus on your breathing right and this is something that i should have been talking with since the beginning because no matter what we're doing no matter what kind of meditation um concentrating on how you're breathing is very 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 important because that actually if you if you're like Again, if you're driving, if you're driving a car, you're, 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 you just got finished talking to somebody that really made you mad and you notice how your body's doing, you know, your shoulders are tense, your chest is tense, you know, you're feeling angry. A really good thing to do would be to actually um, just take a deep breath in and let it out. Actually do that now, take a deep breath in and let it out. And when you do, let's do it one more time, but when you do, I want you to notice what's happening in your body, right? Breathe in and let it out. You'll notice that your, your shoulders, maybe if they're up a little bit, they actually drop a little bit. If you had any tension in your chest, maybe it's loosened. But that is just a really simple thing. It's like there's a there's a a, a reset uh, meditation that you can do after something that's really stressful. Just breathe in and breathe out like that for a minute, and you're and you're good to go. It actually helps to bring your your um your blood pressure down and your heart rate down and everything. Okay, so what is meditation good for? Meditation is good for so many things. This is just a few, just like eating well and sleeping and everything else. It's like, these are some of the things that help when you meditate. It improves your concentration. It improves your breathing efficacy because you're concentrating on your breath. You're not breathing shallow. A lot of times we breathe a lot more shallow than we think we are and we're not getting enough oxygen and that'll help. And that'll actually help our concentration because our brain's getting more oxygen, right? Okay, increases our pain threshold, relaxes our mind, induces physical relaxation, reduces emotional explosions. Like I was saying, like if you're like thinking about something, thinking about something, thinking about something, that person that you're gonna to talk to later and you know you have something to say to them that you are you don't know how they're gonna take it. And instead of getting more and more anxious and so you can't speak on what you're trying to say in a clear form without getting angry, this will help that. So you're able to be more clear. And um, it helps to lower your blood pressure, of course, because of all of, you know, all of this stuff will actually help our bodies reset and helps us um, connect with other people because we're able to, we're able to um, get rid of all that in our mind and just connect. Okay. And I see that we have a few people that are like, I was just talking right now. Let me grab the chat here. 
And yeah, yeah, breathing is crucial. Oh, the East Bay Meditation Center. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. That is exactly what I was thinking of, Aaron. So East Bay Meditation Center, eastbaymeditationcenter.org online. They are a space where um, people of color can go and meditate and feel safer um, than they would um, going into a lot of other areas where you can go and maybe feel um the way we feel sometimes when we're in a space where we're in the, in the minority, as we know. Okay, relax and breathe. Yes, yes, yes. And um, let's let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's see what else we have here. So one of the things is um, I want to show you before we get started is resources for family meditation. Children as young as a year old can meditate. They can meditate. You know, there's a there's a guideline that says that um, uh, meditations a lot of times is conducive to how many years you how old you are. So, like a one year old may be able to meditate for one minute. Now, I have heard of little tiny people who can meditate for a lot longer and are very talented at this but um at the very least if you know you can get them to sit and or or do a meditation maybe a movement meditation something to get them started at this practice when they're small then they will have um, a much better grasp on their self across the board physically mentally emotionally um, educationally, you know, so it's something to think about. Okay. So these are some of the, and this is, a um, some of the resources that I have. Um, I know that for a lot of you, we've gone through a lot of workshops and, um, I haven't given the link for, um, that goes to all of the different, um, PowerPoints that I've done over the past, you know, 10 workshops, um, yet. But I will have those for you um, by the end of the day. I'll, I'll, I will send it to everybody on the list. Um, and you will have these, uh, these as, um, what you call it, resources too. But you can see the Go Noodle one for, for um, melting meditation is really great. A lot of fun. Um, and these are great ones for the family or for small children. Um, a lot of them are... Um, our movement meditation. So it's it, it actually helps them to get into it. And then we have these really great ones for adults here. Okay. All right. So this is that's the end of this. And what I'd like to do actually with uh with you now is actually go through a meditation. So we talked about the different kinds of meditation, and this is going to be one that incorporates. Let me just, I'm going to like pull this down because I'm going to, my chair a lot sometimes is really high. I'm going to pull that down so I can, I can um, see. So, so I can put my feet on the floor. So my feet are flat on the floor. Before we go into this, actually, I was like, we've been going for an hour. And so it's four, it's about four o'clock right now. I'd like it if to get, I'd like to give you all a break. Please, Walk you, break. Yeah, please get some water. Please go to the bathroom or do a stretch. I'm going to do a stretch here really fast. And we'll get back in just a minute and we'll um, do a meditation. And after that, we'll do a focus group because this is the last workshop. I'd like to, um, We'd love to get the feedback uh, um, from you about um, our programs and, and that's gonna help us for fiscal year 2022, which starts in July, 2021. Okay, all right, so go off and get your water and everything. I'll see you back in maybe like uh, five minutes, okay? <laughs> This is so informative. We love you so much. We're ready oh, to. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Put that up there. Let me see. I'm going to find some. 
right back with you. We get back in just a minute. I'm so excited about how holistic this Healthy 102 has been. Last <laughs> week, grooving and moving. This week, we're like elevating our spirit and our mind and meditating and letting go all the stress. We're eating mm -hmm. good, feeling good. We're loving our families. Thank you so much, Rahima, for this holistic well-being and wellness training. Thank you so much for, 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 for those um those wonderful thoughts it's 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 actually been a dream of mine I, I've I've um, taught healthy nutrition for a long time but a lot of times what happens is you know I'm able only able to do one class and I have to stick everything in it or you know or maybe I'm just at a an event and I only get a half an hour or whatever and it's like I I, I reach like like hundreds of people, but I didn't feel like I was getting as big an impact as I needed to because um, there's just so much when it comes to health and nutrition and 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 healthy well being. There's just so much that we need, and so it's like the idea of being able to spend time with you guys and actually, um, you know give as much information as possible and go as deep as we need to go is really important. And the fact that we are able to, um, to do this in a way, and people are actually able to, as we go along in the, in the workshops, you know, implement some of the things that we're talking about and actually have results. That's beautiful. That's a blessing. That's a blessing to me. Really, it is. Absolutely. So, hi, Wilma. <laughs> yeah, Wilma Rauncher. I, I would work with Wilma at, at, uh, at Allen Temple way back in the day, you know, just like a little while ago. So it's like, it's great to see some and, and other like, like uh, um, East Oakland folks. Yeah. So it's really good to see you. All right, so we're, it looks like we're back, we're back. And so we're gonna get started with this. Um, what do you do to increase my wellness? Well, I, you know, uh, uh, just what do I do? What I do is, is I have been needing to concentrate on sleep. Um, sleep has been really, really, really important. Um, and especially as you get older, as an older, as, as a woman gets older and your body changes, sometimes we end up having tr issues with sleep. Um, so it's been very, very important for me to make that very precious in my life and figure out how to make sure I get it. Because um, 
that's really important. And then the meditation, I kind of combine it a lot of times, like before and after I go to go to bed and sometimes even during, I'll, maybe I'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, but then it's like, of course, there's the water always. And um, I've gotten obsessed with, with, with um, collard greens. I like, I'll take a leaf. Yes, I'll be have a great big old leaf and I'll eat it like a bunny. Oh yeah, collard greens. <laughs> we love it. Collards. I they love, in the I like, I'm like, I'm a bunny. Pretend like I'm a bunny and eat it. Ooh, so Tamia says, I love to breathe and meditate at uh, loads uh, with loads of information. I love uh, how we make alkaline water very simple. Yeah, it's great. And I have to learn much. Uh, oh yes, thank you. Thank you very much. So yeah, we're going to keep doing it. This is just where this is the last workshop for Healthy Living 102, but we are going to be continuing. It's this is going to be a, just a, a soft pause before we like start again for the next iteration. So the party stay tuned. don't stop, y'all. The party, the party don't, don't stop. stop. Although the party is going to calm itself down a little bit as let's all make sure we have our um, that we are in a comfortable position. It may be sitting, I am sitting um, with my feet on the floor and my hands on my lap. You may be sitting on the floor. You may be sitting on the, um, you, you may be you know, lying on your bed or whatever. Make sure that you are comfortable. I know a lot of times people say you have to be sitting in a lotus position and you must like have your fingers like this. And, you know, but, you know, that's you if that's what floats your boat, you can do that. And there is some uh, good things, you know, good reasons for doing that. But meditation can be done while you're walking to work, you know. You, you know, it, the, the main thing is, is, is to be comfortable. So get comfortable. All right. And concentrate. You don't need to look at your screen right now or me. Concentrate. Or if you do, um, this is what I want you to do. Whether you're looking at the screen or not, find something in your room on the screen that is something that you um, can, can just focus on. There's little squares in the, in, the, in the mud cloth behind me, right? And look at that and just breathe and listen to my voice, okay? Now you're looking at that spot that you're looking at. And you're concentrating on your breath. Breathing in and out. And in. and out. And you're gonna keep breathing in and out. And as you're breathing, you may feel your eyes getting a little heavier and as they get heavier, you close them down and relax your eyes in a closed position. And if you didn't feel like closing them down, that's okay too. And I want you to feel your face. Is your jaw tight? Is it loose? Does your nose itch?
If it does, it's okay. Is, you know, is your, your ears, can you, what do you hear? Do you hear a car in the distance? Do you hear someone in your house doing something that they need to be doing with their day? Do you hear a bird? And your body, your shoulders, feel your shoulders. Take a deep breath on your in-breath. When you let it go, feel your shoulders drop. And as your shoulders drop, feel your chest, your back, your low back, all the way to your your butt just drop. You're sinking into the floor. Now, I want you to visualize a door. A green door. With a gold doorknob. old doorknob that is shiny. And I want you to reach out and grab the doorknob with your right hand and turn the doorknob and push the door open. The door pushes open and the door swings wide open. And as the door swings wide open, you see a beach. And stairs leading down from where you are to get to the beach. Is your beach sunny? Is it evening on your beach? Inside, is the moon out? Can you hear birds? Can you feel the wind? Is it warm? Now, we'll take the first step down to the beach floor. There are 10 of them. And as you take those 10 steps, I want you to count down from 10 with me as we go down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, you're on the beach and your feet are touching the earth. Are you barefoot? Can you feel the sand? Is it rocky? Is it warm? Now we're gonna walk. We're gonna walk along the beach edge to 
the right. And as you're walking, you can feel the warmth on your skin. Maybe you can see some flowers, little beach flowers sticking up out of the, the sand. And we're coming to a cave entrance along the side of the beach. But it's not a scary cave. It's very inviting. It's very open. And let's go in. And inside the cave, there's a place set for you, a seat where you can sit down. This is your special place. Is it a place, is a place that you can decorate the way you want? Is it a place that has photos of your family? Is it a place that holds your Bible? Is it a place that is just empty and clean and a sanctuary from everything and no worries in your life? And as you're sitting there, appearing in front of you is your special, your special item. It may be, again, it may be your Bible. It may be a poem. It may be your favorite song, something that fills, your, fills you up and makes you feel complete and whole. You can open that and read that now. That is what the creator, that is what God has for you in this planet. When you're done, very gently back where it belongs and stand and walk back toward the entrance of your cave, out back into the sunshine, out back into the night. onto the beach. And take a deep breath in. And let it go. Take another deep breath in. And let it go. 
one more time. And let it go. The next one, you can open your eyes, take a next breath in. And out. You open your eyes when you're ready. All right, everyone. So that, okay, <laughs> thanks, Camille. <laughs> yeah. It's like, uh, so basically what I wanted to do, it's like, it was kind of impromptu um, what I did, but what I wanted to do was take you through a few different kinds of meditation within one. So we definitely did meditating, you know, regular meditation. Um, we did some mindfulness meditation when you're doing things in your in the meditation like grasping the door are you thinking of how your hand grasps the door turning the knob walking down the stairs that is being mindful in your mind about the process of your visualization because that's the other piece of it right we're visualizing um, a place and some actions in your head and that and and that that helps that too and then of course there's a guided part like I was guiding you um and during the so it's like it's not wasn't something that you were a story that you were making in your head or or um just being still which is something else you can do is just be still and think of your body and I, I think we've done that a few times where you like go through the different parts of your body you know, from your toes and up to your head, just relaxing things, just to reset your body. I'm like, I, okay, I know what's going on in my body. Let's make that stop, make like that, whatever. This is just to like to show the different the different aspects of it. Um, and then I try to like also bring in a little bit of um, a little bit of spirituality, a little bit of religion, because it's like a lot of us have that in our lives. A lot of us, you know whether um, no matter what faith that we have, um, a lot of times I work with, um, I've worked with Christians um, at um, Baptist Church, and we actually will do specific um, um, meditations for that. Yes, Ashe. But um, I, I didn't want to, you know, focus specifically on one thing because I didn't want I don't want to alienate anybody I want everybody to get the information and then from there you know we can we can um you can figure out how to tailor it to make you comfortable but what you should feel right now is like what's going on in your body do you remember how you felt before are you more relaxed is your mind a little less um racing thinking about troubles, thinking about the news, thinking about what's gonna happen next week, thinking about my job, things like that. Are you more calm? Are you, are you in your body? You know, that's something that, that someone said to me once, are you in your body? Uh, you know, before I, you know, got all into this and I'm like, what do you mean by that? And it means it's like, is your brain someplace so, so different from where you are in your body right now that, it's that you are completely someplace else. Yeah. You feel less tensed at peace. Good. Good. I'm glad. It's like, you know, it's like I, I I was thinking of of doing a formal, like, like, like make a like a little formal one, but I'm like, let's just riff it, you know, and see how it works out. But I'm glad, I'm glad that that worked out. And that's 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 the way it goes. That's the way it's, what it's supposed to do. Um, and uh, it's that easy. It's that easy and you can do it yourself or you can um, you can go to YouTube and you can actually like vet 
and use some of the, um, the um, let's see here. I don't really, let's go back. You can go to some of the videos that they have there. I think I have a couple minutes before I, um, before um, Mama Ayana wants to go ahead and we're gonna do our focus group. Uh, but before I'd like to, if you have any little people in, you know, with you right now that may, um, may like to participate in something fun, uh, I wanna do, you know, show a, a YouTube meditation that is really fun for kids that we can do ourselves too. Because this is like, you know, I wanted this not to just be me talking about meditation. I wanted meditation to happen. So we did like a little bit of a, at the beginning, we did a little bit of a thing more like we just, you know, like, how are we in our bodies, whatever. And then we just did a, um, a little 20 minute um, um, meditation. But now I would like to, can you see this? I'm, I, um, oh, that was wrong. And you see the um, what I have up here? Let me go to a guided meditation. Let's see, bring it down. Yes, we can see it. You can see it. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, let's go to Go Noodle is really fun. Oh, that's not the one I want to do. Let's stop that. Darn it. Let's go back. I want to do Be the Pond because Be the Pond is really fun. And this is something that you'll have access to. Can you see the um, video? If not. Yeah, not yet. Not, not yet? yet? OK. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, yeah, no, it's still this part. You see it now? OK. I can't see it. It just says yes. here wonderful meditations you can do with your whole family. Okay, so let me let me let me go. It's like it's you know sometimes when you're going from thing to thing on Zoom, you have to like turn the thing off and turn it back on. So here, you see that now? Yes, we see it. It looks fun. We're it. ready. You're ready. You and any little people who are around who you might want to do this, it's it's a it's actually very good for for parents and kids. Darn it, just a second. My inner child wants to do it, so she's gonna get in there. Absolutely, let's, let's I, I wanna make sure I have the sound because sometimes I will start a video and people are like, I can't hear it. So yep, there it goes. And so there, so the inner child, yeah, that's me, inner child all the way. Welcome to the Cosmic Kids Zen Den, your place to help you learn how your mind works and what you can do to keep yourself feeling happy and healthy. This is Jack. Jack is going to help us today by doing the Zen Den with us. First, let's get comfy. Sitting here, cross-legged on the floor, long tall backs, and shoulders relaxed. Or if you prefer, sit on a chair. If you are sitting on a chair, sit tall, both feet on the floor, back nice and long, and shoulders relaxed. Get your position sorted. And when you're ready, take some nice deep breaths. In through your nose, and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Good. After a few breaths, you should start to feel nice and calm and relaxed. Now, I'd like you to imagine that you and your mind is a big, lovely pond. In that pond are lots of different kinds of fish. 
These are your feelings, all swimming around together. There's a happy fish, a sad fish, a sleepy fish, an excited fish, an angry fish, a worried fish, a playful fish, a calm fish, a kind fish, a selfish fish. So many fish, so many feelings, all swimming around the pond. Your job here is just to be the pond. Be the pond. It's wonderful being the pond because you can just watch all your different feelings just swimming by. All of them are okay. Every feeling is welcome. You be the pond and let the fish be the fish. No need to do anything with those feelings except watch them swimming around. See if you can be the pond now and just watch. Seeing what kind of feelings you're feeling. They just swim past and you can just watch them. Remember, be the pond. Just be the pond. And if we follow this special Zen Den exercise, we are usually okay just watching all the fish swim around. Except sometimes we might feel like it's hard to let them just swim by. We might stop being the pond and find we've become one of the fish, like the angry fish. And when that happens, we might find ourselves saying or doing something that hurts other people. But we're not the angry fish. We're the pond. Be the pond. Slowly we start to come back to the here and now. Isn't it interesting how many different kinds of fish we all have swimming around in our pond? So we practice just being the pond. And when you feel like one of your fish has taken over, just say to yourself, be the pond. This will help you come back to having all your feelings just swimming around happily together. Thanks, Jack, for your help today. And thank you for doing this Zen Den. You really are becoming a true Zen Den master each time you practice. I'll see you again soon for more Cosmic Kids Yoga and Mindfulness. All right. So that's just, that's a, that's a, how long is the video? It's only, yeah, it's only a couple minutes. So we're, we're, we're My right Cosmic on Kid is over here really delightful and I'm ready to be the pond and not one of the angry <laughs> fish or the confused fish. I am the pond and I'm feeling peaceful. Who's down with me? Absolutely. And there's a there's a lot more. And um, some of them are active. Some of them are like we're sitting like that. And, and, and they actually teach as well, at, you know, like that, like helps you to deal with your emotions and things like that. So Mama Ayana, yes, I know you were concerned. Is like, I love the being the pond. Me too. <laughs> it's like, I like the idea of, oh, an angry fish. I'm like, oh. It's like I'm an angry fish today. <laughs> I'm a kind of a, I'm a, a um, what a, an upset fish or <laughs> whatever. <laughs> okay, y'all. It's like this is it's like so. I'm going to introduce now Mama Iyana. She is the director of programs for Healthy Black Families. If you don't know, and our illustrious leader, and um, she has some questions for all you guys to help us. Um, work on and improve our programming as we go along. So here you go, Mama Ayana, I'm, I'm uh, handing it over to you. 
Thank you. Thank you, Rahima. Um, I appreciate uh, the time in the class and everyone's time. I hope we have enough time to get through our questions and we are going to just take a few minutes to get your thoughts on our on, on healthy living 101 and shop smart classes our thirst, that are part of our thirsty for change program i'm sure rahima has reminded you all that thirsty for change is funded through healthy berkeley and it is specifically for the um, out of to fo um, to focus on our health with specific um, what would you could say um, focus on sugary beverages, water um, consumption, and also healthy living, healthy eating. So I wanna get your opinion about things. Um, I encourage the participants to answer the questions and I really um, do also encourage um, staff to take notes for me, please and allow the participants to speak. So Camille and uh, Rahimi, if you could take notes today, that would be great. I'm gonna share screen, uh, my screen with the questions for you that um, I have, and we'll just go over them quickly. Um, and Yes, indeed, take your notes. Thank you, Camille. Uh, so, as I said, so Thirsty for Change is a program of healthy Black families. It's funded through um, monies that are collected through our Ber City of Berkeley, Healthy um, Berkeley, um, that come from our soda tax, Measure D. And um, it is Healthy Black Families' premier health program. Um, so uh, I hope that you will, if you get an opportunity to speak on, on mute your mic and show your video and let's talk. Um, so right now, um, my first question is, in what ways have you benefited from the Shop Smart and Healthy Living classes and webinars? And raise your hand if you wanna speak or I guess we could popcorn too. Peace, did I see you um, unmute your vid video? Yes. Okay, um, so do you have a, um, do you have a response to that? In what ways have you benefited from the Shop Smart and Healthy Living classes? Uh, uh, in so many ways, uh, I've really enjoyed the um, the segments with the chefs learning new recipes and how to make healthy, like variety of healthy meals that are affordable. Uh, that it doesn't have to be exotic. I like to cook my own food and I make a, a lot of African food, but seeing the chefs and uh, people do what they were doing, I enjoyed the spa water. It's something that I've always wanted to do. I didn't realize it's not as complicated that I, as I thought. And of course, um, the teachings by Rahima, um, acidity, alkalinity, some of them are things I know but being reminded and putting it in context has been very helpful. So I've really enjoyed many aspects of the uh, Healthy Family um, webinars. Thank you, thank you. Um, anyone welcome. else, um, would anyone else like to offer their thoughts on in what ways have we benefited from the Healthy Living webinars? Come on, y'all. Okay, I'm sorry. Who's speaking? Tamaya, how are you doing? Today? Hi, Tamaya. Good to see your face. All right, I, I just appreciate just you diligently sending those text messages and emails to remind me to come to class. Um, I have benefited, like I was sharing earlier, about how to make the alkaline water if I couldn't be afford to go get some. That was very beneficial. I like the quick and easy meals. So we saying we had did one where you're doing stuff on a budget. And how we created a whole meal on a budget and it was it was resourceful, it was filling and very healthy. And so I appreciate that and I love the meditation. That really centers me that we do it in the class just to just try to set the tone. So I appreciate all of that. And I try to incorporate me like I enjoyed the kid video today. I said I'm gonna try to be the pond and not the fish. So that was very <laughs> beneficial because sometimes we think we're the fish and we're have to be we're the ones setting the atmosphere. So I appreciate that so much. 
Thank you. Thank You're so you. Welcome. To Thank my you. um, and then I see Vicky Leslie. Vicky, um, please. Yes, I hope you can hear me okay. <clears throat> kind of multitasking, but hey, I Vicky. enjoyed all of these workshops. I didn't want to miss one thing. So from the very beginning, I was referred to you by um, the Nutrition Alameda County Nutrition Partners. I'm a child nutrition specialist here and serve in Alameda County, but I work out of Contra Costa. Um, I enjoyed it all. I mean, I enjoyed the, the segment on sleep um, because I also have some problems with sleep. So I picked up a lot of new tips about how um, I can use some of the methods to sleep, be get better sleep. I'm in the older group, so I need that sleep. Oh, I know how it is. Yes, and then um, a lot of um, tips on healthy um, new ingredients that I hadn't really used in some of my cooking. Um, so I learned some of the, some of those, I wish I could taste them. I'm gonna have to make some of these dishes on my own. Uh, Camille did an excellent job on presenting all of the different food options, um, serving options, and smoothies. Um, I now am decorating my water <laughs> with yes. fruits. So I learned more about spa water. I try to promote it even in my program, but I need to practice <laughs> what I preach. So this was good encouragement, um, as well as, like I said, all the smoothies and the meditation segment we just had. So I've enjoyed it all and um, have started to share some of this information with my child care providers in Alameda County. So thank you so much. Uh, that's wonderful. Let's see, I'm looking for any more raised hands or anyone else who would like to speak. Vicki Leslie, did we just do you? We just did you, huh, Vicki? Um, so, um, then th the next question would be, what are your thoughts on the topics and presentations? Um, did you enjoy the topics? You, some of you have given uh, some information on that. And then also, um, did you, um, what about the presentations? Did you like our presenters? And if so, what did you like about them? What did, um, Give us some feedback. Come on, y'all, unmute your mics and share with us. This is your opportunity to give input and okay. to make sure things happen. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, it was, um, it was so many. Oh, sorry, I didn't do the video. It was so many. I'm thinking about all the different classes I attended, but it was one in particular where he had a doctor on there and she was talking about eating for help. And I thought that she was very beneficial when she had spoken, gave all that vital information. I would love to have seen that again. Um, to, I remember when we were talking about um, for our kids and getting them back in, and I can make it in school. We talked about that. I just think about it's been a lot of different hot topics that uh, were very beneficial and very informational. Because even if I couldn't use the information, I passed it along to somebody else that I thought could benefit from it as well. Okay. Uh, peace here. Um, so in terms of the presentation, I like the variety of the presenters. Um, Camellia's uh, excitement with food was very infectious. Uh, <laughs> she makes me more excited about uh, Basil than I've ever been and watermelon, just the excitement that she brings, the quality that she brings in, uh, the knowledge base of the presenters, I can see Rahima, she puts in a lot of work in researching what she's presenting and uh, giving the scientific background and also breaking it down so that it's easy for a lay person to understand. Uh, I, uh, Chef New Hunia, Hunia. Yeah. So Chef Hunia walking us through Ghana. Uh, Ghana is one of the countries I've wanted to visit and just her showing us like going to the market and stuff like that. It brought back 
good memories being that I'm an immigrant from Africa. Uh, so every aspect of it is like, I like the quality and the variety of the presenters. That's what I'm trying to say. They are all unique in their own way. And to me, that was very engaging. I never had a dull week in any of those uh, events. It, it, there's never been a dull week, a dull Tuesday. I, I'm, I'm usually excited, looking forward to what is the new thing, what is going to happen, who is talking, and what are they going to bring to the table. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I see um, Penny Patterson. Uh, Penny, feel free to share with us. Hi. Hi. So I've been going to the um, the Monday cooking webinars, and um, I I like the, um, the I forget the name of the lady who does the presenting, but that she has her kids there helping. It's always um, very uh, refreshing and fun. Mm -hmm. And um, I've learned a lot. And now that I'm not um, eating as unhealthy as I was, I stopped being scared and I started checking my blood sugar because before I didn't check it because I was always scared of what it would say. And I've been eating a lot more veggies and a lot less carbs. So um, it's really been a help for me. My, my blood sugar is uh, a lot more in control since I started with you guys, so. Thank you so much. And Camille, thank you so much for always reminding me because I'm such a slacker and I would forget um, if you weren't always reminding me to go. So thank you. And that's all I have to say. You're welcome. Thank you, Penny. And is there anyone else before we move to the next question? And thank you all for staying and, and, and moving through this with us. You could be anywhere else, but you are with us um, sharing your thoughts and your um, ideas on this. So our next question is, um, what other things would you like to learn? Uh, what, what other things would you like to learn about as part of our classes and workshops? And specifically talking about Shop Smart, Eat Smart, and um, the healthy living classes as we move forward in this um, to the next um, series of classes that we'll be doing. What are some of the things you would like to learn about? Hi, Harry. Hi, Peace. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, to me, this is a very timely question. Uh, I'm going to be vulnerable. I believe this is family. Uh, some of you that were earlier in this class, I had shared one of the days that I lost my younger sister at 38 years of age to breast cancer that wasn't diagnosed early. I had my mammogram um, May 24th and they saw some tissue that was questionable and that was scary. Thank God it came back uh, benign. So today, um, I put on a lot some weight because of stress. So I went to Berkeley Y trying to see if they have financial assistance that they are offering for membership because I, I need help getting in shape. I'm, I don't have problem with eating, I eat healthy and this, this class is helping me. That's one of the reasons I'm participating, but I put on some weight due to stress. I guess what I'm trying to say is that for the next session, I would like to see like um, addition of uh, maybe a physical trainer or somebody that has expertise in that can kind of guide us on how we can, uh, exercise, like things we can do. For me personally, things I can do on my own besides the exercises that I'm doing that is not working for me and working, but to add to my regimen to help me to get in shape, especially for those that can't afford the gym membership like myself at this time. I hope that makes sense because to me it's life and death. To me it's about life right now because I really want to have a healthy, weight, <laughs> come back to a healthy weight, having to wait for biopsy and going for biopsy, it was very scary, especially okay. having just lost my sister. I understand, thank you. Um, so just to remind folks, we do have health forms that happen where we do have physical activity classes and we will um, look to see if we can bring some folks in that can refer you to physical activity classes in, um, uh, that are happening in, in the area that you live in, in Berkeley, okay? Um, yeah. And 
right now, Healthy Black Families is not offering that type of class, but we will be glad to refer and have some folks come in and talk about it. Monique, do I see your face? You ready to say something? And your hand is raised. Hi, Monique. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, I, I guess I, I echo what a lot of people said. Um, I think that um, a topic that I would like to see um, is um, a talk about mental health and um, how our nutrition and our physical activity um, impact our mental health. And I think, um, like P said, you know, this is a safe space. So I think just the fact that there is this space that's created where we can talk about things and we can um, show examples of healthy foods and, you know, we can talk about health concerns that are in our community and um, talk about how we can possibly prevent a lot of the things that people say run in our family because I don't think they all have to run in our family so mm -hmm. there are a lot of things that are in the environment um, that are out of our control I think that it's really helpful to be in a group of um, people and especially families who are talking about what we can control to um, go against the things in our environment that are not so healthy for us. So um, I think it's great that we can talk about what are the seasonal fruits. And it was great seeing Hunia do the tour of what's seasonal, um, you know, on the continent and what matches in season over here. And um, Camille's excitement to show us, yeah, what is seasonal here and how those things affect us. And for Rahima to be able to connect all the dots and say, these are how all these things really benefit our body. I think it's helpful because I think sometimes we don't understand all the time why people say eat your colors and eat what's seasonal because sometimes it's easy to sometimes just think about the cost and not always um, know why we should choose what we choose to eat. So I think Thank you, it's Monique. where we can get the details. Thank you, you really appreciate it. And everyone who has attended and been participating. And I really want to um, be clear with folks that um, this class is open to everyone, but our focus is on the black community and um, specifically from the Berkeley Health Equity Report of 2018 and all of them since 1998, we see that people Black people, people of African, Black and African descent in the United States and in, in the Bay Area and Berkeley and Alameda County die 50% more than other people's, um, everyone um, from preventable disease. So it's very important for us to identify some of those causes and one specifically is, is sugary beverages, you know, and our high sugary beverage intake. And so that's one of the reasons we're focusing on this. And one of the reasons we created Measure D to um, create funding so that we could have health, health, free health classes and workshops and information for the most impacted communities. And those do include um, the uh, Latinx community, the migrant communities, and um, the, the, also the Brown communities in Berkeley. Um, and Asian um, and South Pacific Islanders. So next question is, um, what, how are you using the information that you learned? In what ways are you using this information in your daily life? Let's I have a see. question or a comment. Um, is it okay if I say something? Ms. Vicky? Sure. Um, <laughs> Hi, well, recently, we had to write an article for about barriers to um, breastfeeding in the Black community. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have a lot of data. So I was wondering, would that be um, a segment on how to encourage breastfeeding in the Black community and the barriers that I don't know if that would fit here? Thank you, Vicki. It um, could be a conversation. We do have our step group and our um, step leaders group. And we also have a motherhood circle with Roots Community Health Center. And we've had um, a breastfeeding workshop um, every year 
since we started working with Roots and we have also offered them with Berkeley um, Black Infant Health and um, with our STEP group. Um, so we, we, are, we have focused on that, on that and we do have um, work that is around birth equity and Black maternal and infant health. Um, it is one of our um, key work strategies and work right in in healthy black families. So that just tells me that I need to be more um, uh, be more demonstrative of getting the information out so you know what's going on. So you can attend my classes, but then you also have access to other programs that we have available because we do yes, we do have that. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Penny. Penny. Um, so is there anyone else who'd like to talk about how, um, how they use the information? Have you been cooking the food? Are you shopping healthier? Are you, um, I've heard people say they're eating healthier. Are you shopping healthier? Um, do the incentives, the gift cards, are you using the gift cards and how are they impacting? I see, Lauren, I see your hand is raised. Please. Um, yes. So I just wanted to say when we, when I first started watching Aaron's um, on Mondays, mm -hmm. I, um, I was drinking a lot of ginger ale and a lot of um, juice. And um, then I started cutting it. And now I'm only buying water um, and drinking spa water for flavor. And so that has been like the biggest, my biggest change. I've also changed my eating habits, but um, you know, just finding a something different for a sugary beverage um, has been like a blessing for me. Thank you, Lauren. It's so yeah. wonderful to know that our programs are in, and our classes and workshops are impacting your life. Uh, Phoebe, I see your hand up, and it's good to see you. Hi. Hi, Mama Ayana. Hello, everybody. So I've always told everybody, everybody I talked to about this class, that I am in love with quinoa. Hunia showed <laughs> us how to make that quinoa, you know, bake it. And I made some, because I'm a Southern girl, I made some quinoa with some red beans and rice and cornbread. And oh, my goodness. It was, I just enjoyed the texture. So I've kind of, you know, slowed down on the rice. And I've been using, going quinoa crazy. I put it in salads. I just, I just loved it. And I didn't even know there was like different colors. Mm -hmm. But, but I also went and got me a chippy chopper. <laughs> like Camille, <laughs> I had to have it because I'm not good at chopping vegetables and I have limited kitchen uh, plug so mm -hmm. it was just perfect for her to plug that I went straight to Walmart and got that okay. so um oh yeah and, and chopper. I <laughs> love my chippy <laughs> chopper <laughs> my baby tried to steal it from me mm -hmm. <laughs> but um yeah definitely um the grains have been a really big thing for me the quinoa and the um and the the just the different um whole wheat grains that you guys talk about so I'm complete, thank you. Um, so, uh, and one moment, peace. I also want to ask, we have you all been, if you have been using your, receiving and using it, your incentives, please raise your hand. I just want to get a, a feel for if you're getting your e-gift cards and um, if you're using so, them. And so then, I'm Mama Ayana. Mm -hmm. Because Healthy Living 102 classes, we, they get right. the incentive at the end. I so know. I'm not talking just out. about this okay. class, okay. though, Rahima. Okay. Thank sure. you. Sure. Just yeah. want to let people and, know. So if, it, if you're thinking about, if you just started with this workshop, if you haven't gotten them yet, that's because that's the reason why. Right. So. Yeah. Thank you. And I was going to get to that because, yeah, we, we don't, it's not every um, class and workshop, but for the shop smart classes um, for the health forms if you've attended those and you've gotten incentives or you intended attended healthy living 101 um, how are the incentives and even as a step leader so um peace i see you you have your hand raised please uh, yes, share with us uh, sure i had my hand raised uh when you asked uh, how you've been 
have you been how you've been using information gain uh -huh. so for me yes. i've been applying it uh personally um i know i'm supposed to be drinking water it's something that i know but through this class i remember rahima one time giving us assignment uh to drink a half of she gave us the measurement of how much we should drink and put it in a large bottle and be dragging it around with you. And that really helped me because I know personally I should be drinking, but sometimes it's like the last thing to get to. So that was really helpful. Um, so for me personally, um, what I'm learning, I'm applying and I'm also teaching my kids so that they can apply it in their own lives. Um, because for us to live long and live healthy lives. Now, lastly, the last question you asked since I'm talking, um, I did Healthy Living 101. I only got incentive for two of classes that I attended. I don't know if they are delayed in, re in releasing the rest of them. I'm not sure what's happening. However, I do know the ones that I've gotten, yes, I use them. They've been very helpful because I'm, I happen to be one of those people affected by COVID that lost their job. So it was really helpful. They have been very beneficial to us to use. Thank you. Thank you. I, I also wanted to say that I've gotten a lot of texts from people um, <clears throat> because um, Aaron's pretty quick about getting the uh, gift cards out. And like a lot of people have actually sent me stuff that they bought, told me how much has helped their groceries, and also just made inquiries about the gift cards for other programs. I realize it takes, you know, sometimes up to two weeks but it's been really, really helpful for people like with their groceries. And <clears throat> between that and the pop-up markets, it's really adding like a lot more to you. Thank you, Camille. Thank you. Um, and yes, we do have the SSB program going on in East Oakland. Um, and my questions right now are really specifically for the, um, the Berkeley work and the um, Thirsty for Change. Uh, Shop Smart classes and the Thirsty for Change, um, Healthy Living 101, the Thirsty for Change uh, health forms. So Phoebe, you had something you wanted to say? Yeah, um, as far as the incentives, I've actually set a rule that my incentive is only for fresh fruits and vegetables, nothing Wonderful. packaged, nothing jarred. So that gift card is... If, if I don't, it has to be for leafy green vegetables or something up from the rainbow. And I, I've set that rule. So it's really, it really helps me to, um, to organize my shopping too. <laughs> so I'm complete. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. And then my final class, my final question um, is, let's see. Are there ways we can make our classes and workshops better for you? And I, I did, we did hear about adding physical activity or information on physical acti activity for weight loss. Uh, also adding information about potentially around for breastfeeding moms. And um, what, what else would you like um, that? And what ways would our workshops be better for you? Anyway, um, anything you'd like to. I read in the chat, someone was talking about for mental health. That's something mm -hmm. I think would be beneficial um, along with, you know, coping skills, I believe. Okay, thank you. And we might have to share some of the uh, information that we put out in our health forms. We've had um, over the past year, we have had um, focused on mental health at our health forms. Um, four different times where you, uh, where you could have the opportunity to attend and learn from mental health professionals, as well as the, the wonderful information that Rahima puts out and shares with us. Um, so we got that mental health. Phoebe, see your hand. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, um, could we do a spotlight maybe on um, spices and essential oils or, you know, the edible ones? Um, because I, you know, a lot of the spices have medicinal properties and they make mm -hmm. our food taste good. So I think that'll be cool. <laughs> I'm sure Rahima is getting that right now. <laughs> Yeah, I actually have too. a I have a workshop that I do on spices, um, so I will beef that up and get that ready. 
That oh yeah, that's actually my favorite. I love aromatherapy. I love spices. I actually just got about four or five books on that the other day. It's super good. So I'm ready for that. We may not cover aromatherapy as part of Healthy, Healthy yeah. Living 101, but it's very possible we could include it in our form, health forms, um, a, a segment on that. Well, if we're talking about a spice that has, that has you know, that you mm -hmm. can eat, but that can also be used as essential oil, like lavender, you know, yeah. you can, we, I'll mention it, but yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, and uh, anyone else uh, or any final comments? Anyone, would you like to add something? But if there's a, a way these classes and workshops can be better for you and, um, yeah. Also, are you going to come when we when we are out of shelter in place? Um, are you planning on coming, family? You can just raise your hand. You don't have to um, unmute yourself if you don't want to. Um, yeah, and I yeah, just Monique, say it's going to be really exciting because it, we can actually like have cooking demonstrations and have people eat the food rather than right. smell it and and everything right there. It's gonna be so exciting. I'm really happy to be able to, to be coming out of shelter in place. It was gonna be wonderful. I see there's one of y'all that are gonna come. I'm sure <laughs> more people will be coming. <laughs> yes, and as All your right. schedule allows, Monique. Um, but yeah, Phoebe says she's coming. Uh, Phoebe, didn't I see your hand raised? Maybe not. But yeah, you, well, yeah, you it did. Won't be, did. We it will be after the fall for sure. So we would definitely have a summer full of classes. Um, we are thinking about opening up the farmers market class for people who want to actually come down to the farmers market um, in the fresh open air and um, shop the market with us. Um, it would be great to have you there. Um, so th this ends my questions. Um, any com any comments? Um, Monique, you rose raised your hand, or or well, that was to let us know you'd be there. Oh, yeah, I was raising my hand to say I'll show up. <laughs> okay. I'll and I was and just typing that it's um, it'll be nice to be able to mm -hmm. share the opportunity for other people to come out to live events, you know, live healthy events. Just and we'll look at the normal for everything to be healthy for us. Yes, yes, Monique. And we'll be looking for ways to um, have safe child care for the children or um, depending on who le who's leading the walk. Um, and yeah, it's really been uh, great to um, get to know many of you and for your presence to be here and that you could be doing anything else, but you are focusing on your health and your well being and that of your family and your children and your community. Thank you so much for um, being a part of our work and being a part of our family. Okay, Rahima, I will turn yeah. it back over to you. All right. I um, there's a, a little quick question from um, Vicky, um, who's asking where we're located. So we're in Berkeley. We're in Berkeley, um, close to the Ashby Bart Station um, on Adeline, um, and so it's it's it, you know if you're close to a Bart Station, you can pop on and get to us by um, that way. Or um, I don't know if you're if you're located, but if you're in Berkeley, of course, hopefully it'll be an easier place to get to. Yeah, it's like um, our programming, just like it's free here, it's free in person, and it's also incentivized. Of course, we encourage um, folks if you know anybody in around in and around Berkeley that could use the programming, please. Um, let them know it's always it's always good to have people come through but of course we we um again like mama ayana was saying as like we don't turn anybody away uh, as a, a appropriate place to share information about wednesday evening meeting with dr tony um yeah why not i think that that would be uh, that would be um a good a good good place as any to talk about it yes I can't hear you, you're on mute.
time for me to give put some more money in my mute vacation jar. Yes, on <laughs> Wednesday evenings um, through June, we are having a Ubuntu healing circle for people of African and African American descent. And it's taking place. Um, now I'm trying to figure out, let me quickly um, see if I can get a link to put in the chat. Um, yeah, I was just thinking of that myself. Yeah, um, I, I pulled out of my the regular, let me see, I think I can pull it up. I'm gonna put the link in the chat for everyone. And so that you are welcome to come men and women. And we even had a, a, t a teenager last um, Wednesday participate with us, but we are encouraging folks to come uh, and create a safe space for African-American um, people to, uh, to participate and explore right now how they're feeling. Did you um, find it, I found it. I got it, yeah. I'm gonna put it in the chat now and New, I my um, new computer makes it really hard for me to cut and paste, but it is now in the chat. And okay. um, most of you will receive an invite because Camille will outreach to you um, and invite you to come uh, for tomorrow. So it's every Wednesday through June 30th. And it is... Um, Dr. Tony Jackson, who is an amazing person, is leading us um, through the Ubuntu healing, as we live and breathe Ubuntu healing circle. And then Rehema, did you want to share the information about the next health forum? Absolutely, absolutely. Let me make sure I have, uh, yeah, I got it over there. I'm, I'm gonna share the share screen now um, for the, um, where to go, show all. Somehow, somehow, sometimes things don't show up here, but I mean, I'm going to figure it out in just a second. I well, think we sometimes know it's taking place on June 22nd. It's happening on June 22nd at three o'clock. So basically the same time, same place as these workshops here. And you can um, go ahead and, um, oh gosh, there it is. There we go. This is it. Uh, we're um, fun, safe summer forum and it's um, June 22nd at 3 p.m. and we're going to be exploring fun, safe, healthy, free and affordable summer programs and activities for our children and family members, meaning yourselves as well. Um, we will have a person from um, Berkeley Parks and Rec and, um, and a few other folks to talk about programs and stuff like that they have available and possibly some um, if the programs cost maybe some um, stipends or, or um, what do you call it, um, um, scholarships. Um, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, scholarships for things because you know we all got we we all want to get out there. So this is this is it, and we I'll go ahead and put the um, link in the chat as well. So now you have two events to go to in less than a week. You can, you know, get get some some, some emotional and healing support tomorrow, and um, we can find out about some really fun activities for our kids and for ourselves this summer. Also, it's really cool incentive for tomorrow. Um, you will actually be receiving a forty dollar gift card to Target. So that's super awesome. I know a lot of you guys go there. You can get your chippy chopper, you can get a smoothie maker. And it's really great. It's just really great. It gives us some wonderful tools to utilize for our mental health. Mm. Yeah, thanks, Camille. All right. Okay, this has been a action packed, completely full workshop. I'm going to put, I know that Mama Ayana went ahead and she, she did the, um, you know, did the reg, did the, uh, the focus group, but I'd like to just launch our poll right there. And um, if you can please complete that and, um, and we'll, 
be pretty much done for the day. I'd like to let you guys know that uh, your incentives for Healthy Living 102 will be available within the week. It's like, you know, this is the end of the class. And so we'll get that to you. We will also, I will also be sending you um, the, the, um, the final link for all of the, um, all of the resources and the PowerPoint presentations that we've done thus far. So you can actually go and, and get those and use them as you need. So that's something else that you'll be getting. All right, so we got 10 people who have finished the, uh, the questions. One person hasn't, just to let you guys know, if you don't see the, the survey, sometimes that happens. Just let me know. Um, you can text me or email me at t4c at healthyblackfamilies.com. I'm going to put it in the, the, um, the chat and let me know. And I'll send you the link for the, um, the survey. So you can send that, you can send that back. That, that actually is attached to the incentive. So um, if you want to make sure you get the incentive, it's important that you send that to me, okay? Or get me, get me to send it to you so you can get it back to me. All right, so I'm going to do that now. And um, Rahima, I also wanted to let people know we're getting ready to launch our third Umoja fund. Um, and that is a fund where you can apply to get um, $1,000 paid on your rent. Um, you can apply for um, a food card um, or a resource card so you can buy diapers or, or gas. Um, and um, you can also apply for to get your utilities paid. And there, we even have a health um, area where you can apply for money so you can get a massage or acupuncture or reflexology, um, stress reduction. Um, so you should be able to go to our website to apply um, starting mm -hmm. tomorrow. Um, and it is um, at www.healthy.healthyblackfamiliesinc.org. Is the registration for the event tomorrow, is that also on the Healthy Black Family page? No, that is not on the Healthy Black Families page. That's okay. strictly based on our outreach at this time. Um, but- um, Whoever just said that they wanted to get some help for that, could you just- um, Let Camille know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I, right. Camille is our, our outreach queen. I'm telling Absolutely. you, and, and she's specifically um, at this time it's, um, is supporting folks for getting on Zoom and accessing our workshops. So do, um, Camille, would you put your information in the chat as well? So if you want information on how to get on, get to the Emoja Fund application or to get to our workshops, Camille can support you with that. Let's see. Um, again, we really want our people who have been attending our classes um, and workshops to have access to the Moja Fund. Um, we're in particularly, again, reaching out to the Black community because our community is the one that has been most impacted by um, COVID-19 and uh, most financially impacted by COVID-19. Phoebe, is that your hand up? Yeah, I wanted to ask uh, really quickly, the group that Camille was talking about, is that the Tony Jackson one? Where yes. she mentioned Target? Okay, because I- Yeah, yeah. It is. And yeah. Um, I put I put my phone number in the chat. If you guys could just screenshot that, you can text me or call me and I'll help you register. Thank you. Does everyone see it? It's 240. 787-6720. So go ahead and just text me or call me and I'll get you all set up and give you all the information. I appreciate you guys so much. Yes, really appreciate everyone. 
Have a blessed and wonderful afternoon. And yeah, oh, you went yeah. <laughs> halfway through that. You, you uh, see everyone again. tomorrow. See everyone tomorrow. I'll see you guys. I won't be able to see you tomorrow because I, I'm having a birthday, late birthday gift. But I'll see you next week at the forum. Um, bye, peace. Bye. Bye. And, and bye, peace. Stay peace. chill. Meditate. Bye.